Don't crowd around. Don't crowd around. Give up. Jacob. Heal, Mohold. Down. Who asks? A witcher. Saw your notice. Hold up. A witcher, you say? Like in Louis Herrera's tales and fables. Luckier than a green, bleeding leprechaun I am. See? Not a soul around believes this tree is Daphne, the cursed lady of legend. But you... you could lift the curse! Bit too old to believe in bedtime stories, aren't you? Want your chops busted, Witcher? How old I am, that is none of your porking concern. Fair point. Not my business what you believe, either. Ha! Huh. I'm content we see eye to eye. So what makes you think there's a girl cursed inside the tree? Well, I came out with my dog, Moholt, to cut her down. Axe in hand, a broad swing I took. The edge burrowed deep in her trunk, and bum botch me if blood didn't spurt forth. My jaw dropped in the dirt, but right then I knew. Every jot of it in the tale of Daphne Gareth and the Witch of Lynx, Craig. Don't tell me. From Herrera's tales and fables. You porking bet. Second edition. I meant it in Octavo. I know those tales by heart. My nan read them to put me to sleep. Guess she read it cover to cover, colophon included. Got me curious, gotta admit. You really think the old tales are true? Taking the weepy, are you? Do you think me balmy? No, it's just these are dark, grim times. No room for nights pure of heart or happily ever afters. So I don't often run into folk like you. Yes, true, the times are crud pie. But I see this as all the more reason to remember the tales. My gran would say, if you know not what to do, think to the chessboard knight and noble Alondra and the path they would choose. She schooled me so thorough in it, I could not do otherwise even if I wished to. Let me take a look at the tree. Careful now. Swear I hear sobs in the rustling leaves. It actually does bleed. Looks like human blood, too, and the bark resembles hypertrophic scars in places. Medallions humming like crazy. Intense magic at work here. Blood seeped from the direction of the tree, judging by the shape of the stain. Logger was making good time. Strange, though. Willows isolated. No other trees near it. And? Did you look at the tree close? Mm hmm. Actually does bleed. Pretty incredible. Looks wondrous. Did I not say so? Willing to help, but first I gotta figure out where to start. No need. I know it all. 
Miss Daphne and Sir Gareth shared a terrible and fearsome love for each other. Yet to prove himself worthy of her hint, Gareth was to face the Witch of Lynx Crag. Before Sir Gareth set off for the hill, Miss Daphne gave him her kerchief, a token of her favor. Let me guess, he never returned. He did not. She stood here, day upon day, night upon night, trying to spy him. Till she sprouted roots and turned into a tree? Wonder why. I will fecking tell you why. To await the moment when Gareth returns, kerchief in hand. That is the power of love. The power of longing. So you must scale Lynx Craig. Search there for a means to free Daphne. I will give you my book of tales to refer to. And good luck, Witcher. Faster. on the use of yarrow stems. Interesting. Wormwood. Sulfur. Wart. Scents fresh. Mmm. Mmm. A wall of spell enhancements. Or trophies. to bring bad luck to the archer. Branch of a grapevine. Could be to ensure a good harvest, or a bad one. Doll looks like an accessory for casting curses. Silk kerchief, monogrammed DF. Hmm. Could use it to break the curse if it's Daphne's. None but feral cats stray in here most oft, yet it seems I forget from afar at that. What do you seek in my home? Already found it. You do not aim to lift the curse from the tree, girl, do you? What if I do? Then you had best know you waste your time. The old tales? Did your nan not tell them to you? Even I, 
the witch of Lynx Crag would be hard pressed to overcome the power of love and longing. The Lady's Knight, he ever make it here? Sir Gareth, yes, he came to sway me, but had a quick change of heart. To be precise, it came after the first night we spent together. He stayed a fair while. Then his conscience got the better of him, and he resolved to return to his beloved. Might have resolved to, but never made it. A tragic fate befell him along the way. You have anything to do with this turn of fate? Of course. Was I to let another woman have a man who belonged to me? <laughs> I could not abide it. I'll handle the curse myself, without your help. Go right ahead. I wish you luck. Letting me go? Just like that? I could not have devised a better ending for this little tale. Our visit is done. Adieu. For never shall we meet again. some bones. Gareth's remains? These them? Wonder why the armor came apart. Magic? Or he just fall from a height? So? You met the witch. You must have. What did you learn? That witch? She's not near as bad as folks say. Made me bow and scrape, sure. But I know some sorceresses witchier than her. Joyous, bleeding news, but what about Daphne? 
I can lift the curse, free her, by performing a ritual, making a sacrifice of her kerchief and Gareth's remains. But we gotta start at the right time. When the hour comes, I'll light four fires for the four winds, then begin the ritual. Fires? Then I shall be of use to you after all. Seems you need wood, much of it. Chop as much as you can. I'll see to the rest. I've chopped and stacked the wood. What now? My turn. Gotta light fires and talk to the woman enchanted in the tree. No idea how this'll turn out. So just in case, stand at a distance. And if you see me draw my sword, run. Four winds. From the south, not a word. From the east, no cry is heard. From the north, silent sighs. From the west, peer hollow eyes. Cease your vigil. Dead he lies. Hear me, you who hide beneath this bark. Recall today who you really are. Behold a kerchief, proof of your love for another. Behold, a bone of he to whom you offered your love. Shall never return. No, he won't. Is his love for me gone? Did he stay true? Gareth remained faithful to the end of his days. The time comes that I depart. I've waited too long. I've suffered too much. And now I wish to go. Farewell, lady. I thank you, stranger. And you, my knight. I thank you for speaking to me. For standing vigil at my feet. I did not think it would end this way. I hoped we could revive her. But I guess it was not to be. We did all we could. You did well. Here, your pay. And the book is yours as well. Thanks. Take care of yourself. So long, Witcher. I must think, put this straight in my head. <laughs>